Hi guys, Rich back with you today uh, with a tabletop review that I've been wanting to do for a while now and that is on the Ruger SR9C. Well first we'll do a safety check of the firearms. As you can see, the firearm is unloaded, nothing in the chamber. And we actually have two of these here today. Again, nothing in the chamber, magazine's empty. I want to talk about philosophy of use along with what I think of this firearm. So Ruger released the SR9 and then a year or so later they came out with the SR9C and the C stood for, you know, carry. They had taken and they had basically given you a smaller grip on the firearm and a little shorter barrel. Actually, this is the extended mag grip right here that's on it. And it has a modular part of the frame which can come off and on. But uh, when you put that on and you put that into the firearm, you have a 17 round firearm. The way that it comes concealed carry is it has a 10 round magazine with the finger extension right there. I can get a perfect grip hold on it. All my fingers snag it with that. And it's a little bit less printable because of how it fits on you. And if we use to take and put them together, you can see, you know, a little bit longer down here, but you are gaining 17 rounds over the 10. So my thoughts on the SR9C. I actually won this gun back around 2010, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't even want it. I got it in a gun raffle where they give you a card and you go to the store and you pick up your gun. When I got to the store, I really was into 1911's Kimbers and I didn't for say want a striker fired, striker fired polymer framed pistol. I had SIGs, they're all metal. I had Smith & Wessons, they were all metal. This was the very first composite frame gun I ever owned. Well, I went there and I talked to him about, could I use the card and get a different gun if I paid more for it? And the store was like, yes, you can. And after him hauling around for, I don't know, an hour, I eventually settled on, I'll go ahead and take the Ruger SR9C and I'll use it in my CCW tactical training classes and stuff like that. So I took the gun and I wanted to see how it did. So I took it to my private range and we shot, I'm going to say three of us shooting it, put about 600 rounds to it the first day I had it. And the ammo was a mixed bag. We had good ammo and we had garbage ammo. I wanted to see what the gun would do. So we had, you know, good federal we had Spear and Corbin. We had hollow points. We had FMJs. We had all this different stuff. We had 147 grain 9 millimeter. We had 115 grain 9 millimeter. We had the crappy Russian uh, silver bear, brown bear. We had Tula. Um, we just had a variety mix of ammo. And I got to tell you, this gun, I walked away from that day saying, this is one hell of a gun. They're $299. That's what they were then. I believe they're still that today. And they shoot everything. I have never had a failure to feed, a failure to eject, or a failure to go bang with this particular pistol, no matter what ammo I have ever put through it. It eats everything like a hungry little cookie monster. Okay? It's amazing. It's so amazing that I have a second one, exact same gun. You know, it was just too good of a gun for that price point, $299, not to get. So I picked up the second one probably around 2013 maybe. You know, 
they're just phenomenal guns. And this one, just the same. I've never had a problem. It has shot everything I've ever put through it. The sights, the rear sight is adjustable. The front sight's dovetailed. You know, you can move it around, lift it up and down. But right out of the box, both of these guns was deadly accurate. I mean, they were amazing. I was so impressed. And to be honest with you, this was the very first Ruger pistol I ever owned. Today, I have one Ruger rifle, and I have six Ruger handguns. So Ruger proved to me with this gun what an amazing product they build for the amount of money that they sell. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Philosophy of use. So having the same gun, maybe two or three of them, you know, allows you to share your magazines, uh, share your accessories. Obviously, you know, when you're talking about today's world and what we've been going through and people are hoarding ammo, you know, what ammo are you going to hoard? What are you, what are you stockpiling, right? And although I own all kinds of calibers, you know, it's really about 5.56, 45 ACP, 9 mm. Those are the three that I have the most of. And with that, I'll... I got a couple hundred rounds of 30 out of six. I got a couple hundred rounds of 308. But I have thousands and thousands of rounds of the 9, the 45, the 5.56. So Ruger and their brilliancy decided to come out with a few years ago the PC9 carbine. And this review is really not about the PC9 carbine. There will be a different review for that. But the beautiful part of the PC9 carbine is it shares the same mags as the SR9C and the Security 9 right in there. You know, that creates a very good philosophy of use. You've got a handgun that's magazines match up with your rifle. What do I think about 9mm coming out of a rifle? I think you're pretty good out to 75 yards with the right sight, you know. Um, there's just a lot of things. Like I said, this isn't a review on this rifle, but it's a takedown. You can just pop a button and pull the barrel off. You know, it's got a tactical rail on it up here. It's got a place down here to attach, a Picatinny rail down here. So, but the ability to be able to share makes this very attractive philosophy of use. This would be a wonderful truck gun, you know, in your trunk, behind the seat of your pickup truck. Of course, it's a rifle, so here in Ohio, we have to have it unloaded. But you're carrying four or five magazines that match your pistol. So it's nothing to pop out and grab a mag off your bag pouch on you and slap it into your rifle, right? That's what I'm talking about, philosophy of use. Also, the PC9 carbine from Ruger will take Glock magazines. It has an adapter that you can take out the magwell that takes the Ruger, drop in the Glock. If you know, you're carrying Glock 19s, Glock 26s, all this stuff, your double stack Glock mags will work in this rifle. There's your philosophy of use that I'm talking about. Having a pistol and a rifle that match in caliber but even matching your magazines that you're taking with you. That's something to seriously think about. Does this have the reach out touch ability of an AK-47 or an, an AR-15 variant? No, it does not. It's a nine millimeter carbine. You know, it's a pistol caliber coming out of a rifle. You've got 50 yards is amazing. 75 yards, you're reaching out there a little bit. But when you're talking about maybe, you know, a situation that happened in the mall parking lot, how far away do you have to shoot? You're supposed to just be trying to get the hell out of there. So you reach in your truck and you grab your rifle and you, you know, pop, pop, pow, and jump in your truck and get the hell out of there, right? Something to think about, you know, hiding. If you're talking about hiding guns, you know, take one of these pistols and take this rifle and bury it in the ground with 1,000 rounds of ammo and six magazines. Something to think about. The SR9C is a striker fire, uh, comes apart really easy, easy to maintain, it's easy to maintain, not quite as easy as a Glock 
or the Walther M2 PPS, but pretty simple, you know, push it out this little, push on this little side, push out this little piece here. Inside, you've got to throw the ejector down, drop the mag well, throw the ejector down. That's kind of different. I've never seen another gun ever do that for you. Just reach in and push it down. And when you push out that pin, slides apart, comes apart like any other striker fire pistol. So not too bad. Recoil is super manageable. This firearm, you know, unlike say the Ruger LC9 or the uh, EC9, the everyday carry, which I carry a lot. This gun having a little bit more weight to it, a little bit more size, not nearly as snappy as those subcompact 9mm pistols. So, you know, this is fitting in between your full size combat pistol, like a MP a, a 9mm uh, or the Glock 19 or something like that. This is a smaller barrel than that, a little smaller handle than that. But at the same time, it's not a subcompact. So, excellent choice for for two ninety nine. These are a steal. I would I would buy five more of these tomorrow if I could find them. They're very rugged, easy to maintain, deadly accurate, always go bang pistols. That's my tabletop review of the SR nine C. If you've never shot one, you know. Try to find somebody who has one and shoot it. I bet you'll love it. I really do. Uh, for me, we'll go back to Generation 1 uh, of the Glock pistols. I didn't like the Glock pistols because they were so fat in the grip area that I literally couldn't get my finger on the trigger in a good way that uh, made me an accurate shooter. I was just tiptoeing. You know, just barely getting on there. And when the Ruger came out, that's kind of why I didn't want the, the Ruger was. I'd had my experience with the Glock. You know, that looked pretty similar. However, Ruger did an excellent job of tucking this in here. to give you a big swell area in here. They tapered this in, and it fits my hand amazingly. It's perfect. It's like they molded this gun for my hand. I swear it. Uh, amazing firearm but I'll do a outside shooting when I go to the range I'll take one of these with me maybe both and make a little video of me shooting them for so look for that this was just an indoor tabletop review mostly on philosophy you know what I want to do with the gun uh, SR9C by Ruger I definitely would consider a firearm that I would use to defend my my life in a heartbeat I've carried these guns so many times and now that you have the nine millimeter carbine rifle being able to share those magazines and the ammo that's a really good setup something to think about so until next time stay safe out there uh, we're in we're in some pretty turmoil time and i don't think it's going to get better anytime soon so take care of yourself your loved ones and stay safe catch you later